news. Wanna, 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 wanna. A little late to the party, but something came in the mail today, and I'm not even going to try to, you know, build up fake suspense. Uh, I might cut myself on accident, but but I'll tell you what it is. It's, ah, God, Gary. It's the MiU Mini Plus. I am going to do a dedicated comparison. Uh, a lot of these are just me, you know, opening up boxes and yelling and saying, ah, Gary, what's that? But this time, no, we're going to compare and contrast this with the 35XX, and it's going to be a serious video. Not a lot of goofs and gags. <laughs> Fooled ya. Well, let's start. Let's see what color it is. Uh, does that tell me? I don't know. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool box. It's like french fries, Gary. Except it's a video game. Uh, we got here. Manual. Okay. That's not bad. I'm not going to read it. I just want to see what color I got. Ah. Ooh, that's not the one I asked for. But, not bad. Maybe I'll put some funny buttons in it. Oh, look at this. It comes with an SD card reader, a cord, wipes, and a screen protector. <laughs> so as I said, I have the uh, purple Miu that looks actually a little bit uh, pinkish, neon pinkish, but that's okay. It's visually appealing. Um, it doesn't have some of the, the clear Ambernix. You can see the tape and stuff, and that you don't have that here. You can also, uh, wait a minute, uh, take the battery right out. How do you like that? You just you just pop it out and put a new one in. That's pretty neat. Uh, you get your D-pad. Feels great. Buttons feel great. They are a little slick. I don't know. I guess I'm more of a matte button guy, but that it's fine. Start and select. Speaker down here. Your function key in the middle. Your volume up and down. Your power button. Uh, nothing on this side, and you have your headphones on the bottom, love that, and your charger on the bottom, also love that, and one SD card. Now, that one SD card could be an issue uh, if you are used to a situation where you have a small SD card for your OS and a dedicated card for your ROMs. It makes it a little less portable and switchable. It doesn't have an HDMI port, which is its not the end of the world. I. I'm not a person that has ever really plugged one of these things into a TV, but it's one of the things people always comment about. Let's just, let's turn her on. Now this LED on top. You see that, Gary? This LED on top. It doesn't look like much now, but what happens when I turn the lights off? Wait a minute. God. Playing this in bed? Not a good prospect. Especially if you're in bed with your wife or or your significant other, and they go, what the hell is that? It's just like, as soon as the lights turn off, and it's even worse in full darkness. And I don't think you would have that problem with the, the non-transparent shells, or at least it wouldn't be that bad, but it is something to keep in mind. I haven't had any build quality issues that I could see. Um, uh, I'll use my non-watch hand. The buttons don't really rattle. Nothing really rattles. Everything's very well put together. The buttons themselves are responsive. You know, front front buttons are great. These shoulders are great. Um, there's a height difference, so you can. I mean, I I, I can tell which one is which because there's one further in. But uh, if you're really going crazy, you can feel that this one's higher. Oh, I gotta get get higher for this one. Whoop whoop whoop. You'll notice that I already have Onion OS on here. Stock is okay. If, if someone buys it and they don't know what's going on, they're not into the hobby, they're okay with something less. Something functional, but less. So I said, let's just skip that jazz. Everyone's going to put Onion OS on here anyway, so I just put Onion OS on here. One of the main advantages that the Mini Plus has over the 35XX is obviously Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is a little finicky. For me, a lot of times, it doesn't just reconnect. It requires me to go in and manually enter my credentials again. I don't know if that's a me issue. I don't know if it's a Onion OS issue. But once you have your Wi-Fi on there, you can avail yourself of the opportunity to do an over-the-air update. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if there's an update. I don't know. Probably should have checked. Press any key to continue. Yes, I will download the beta. Go okay, ahead. We'll give it a shot. There you go. So, 
I don't think that was entirely necessary, but I wanted to demonstrate that's how easy it is. It took about oh, four minutes to download and install. That was compressed for you guys because I got really bored standing here. But uh, it's, it's easy to update and you don't have to fiddle with a computer to do it. You can have recents, you have your favorites, you have uh, just games as your systems. I didn't put anything super powerful on here. It'll play up to PlayStation. That does an okay job. It's not technically as powerful as the 35XX, I think, if you're really just looking at the chipset, uh, but it does an okay job with, with PlayStation. It's, it's It'll play pretty much everything up to PlayStation, and that's all you really need. You have your various apps. You can do your activity tracker, your guide, tweaks. Uh, the tweaks are important, and tweaks are helpful because you can uh, change a lot of stuff that you normally wouldn't want to fiddle with. But, for now, let's just play some games. I had some Advance Wars on here. I had Castlevania. Let's 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 do Castlevania. Whoa! The screen is beautiful. I'm trying to remember the shortcuts here. I can, yeah. If I hold down the function key, I can fiddle with the brightness using the volume. 3.5 IPS screen. Um, it's just, it's, it's sharp. Nice color saturation. And, uh, it's just really a, a, a treat to play. On your OS, you have the ability to go between games that you were playing. See, I was playing Dragon Warrior. I was playing it on Game Boy Color, NES, and this is Super Famicom. I was just having fun. Speakers will get loud enough to do what you need to do. The sound quality is good. Uh, there's no skipping or stretching in, in any of the games it supports, really. Here comes the drop. died. One of the things a lot of people like to do with the Miu Mini, Miu Mini Plus, and the RG35XX is one-handed RPG gaming. Now you can use your left hand. I prefer to use my right hand. So I'm going to do a fire beam on this guy. And then, uh, oh, let's do an ice beam on this guy. And uh, we did it. This is small enough and, and palmable enough in my man hands that uh, it's one-handed playing is easy for RPGs. Any like a platformer, <laughs> it ain't gonna work. But RPG, you know, maybe you got a baby in your other arm. Maybe you're uh, you like to live very dangerously and you're you're driving the car with the other arm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're just you're busy. It works great with RPGs, especially if you're in a spot where you want to grind. Oh boy, you can just watch TV, relax, put your feet up, and just wander around and blow up bad guys. I wanted to spend a fair amount of time in this video comparing the Miu Mini Plus to its greatest competitor, the RG35XX. You can see here that the uh, 35XX is a little bigger. It's uh, about the same thickness. It's, it's very similar. You got your volumes on this side. You got your dual shoulder buttons. This one, uh, it's not a raised shoulder button, so some people might prefer this. You obviously can't remove the battery as easily from this as you could with this. You have your power and your reset and your SD cards on the side, which frees up the top for HDMI out. Again, I don't use it, but some people like to. And you have power and headphones on the bottom. The main difference with this, and I mentioned it earlier, is this has one SD card, this has two. I'm not going to judge this on the merits of its stock operating system. So with Garlic OS, which is what you're probably going to be running in here anyway, uh, you can put your Garlic OS on a very small SD card and have a giant ROM card here. And you can just go to town, and if you have to update it, you take this card out, and you don't worry about, oh, crap, I deleted my ROMs. I accidentally, you know, wrote over my partition. That's to me, makes things a little easier. But without Wi-Fi, you kind of need to make things easier because this sucker, you just update it over the air. Uh, they're about the same size. Like I said, 35XX, a little bit bigger, a little bit taller. See, I'm holding it like this. In, in my, my pinky, it floats. Now I can get it up there, but it's kind of a cramped situation. Now this, I'm holding it, my pinky has somewhere to go. That little lip on the bottom. I mean, I'm splitting hairs here. I, it's, it's, it's your mileage may vary. I kind of like the ergonomics of the 35XX a little bit better. Uh, Performance-wise, they're about the same, practically speaking. I think technically the 35XX is a little more powerful, but... Practically speaking, you're going to be able to play 8-bit, 16-bit, and a little bit of, or most of, PlayStation. Controls. The D-pads are both very good. 
All the buttons are very good, responsive, clicky, but not too clicky. They're both uh, shiny, shiny boys. I have I have really uh, no skin in this game, honestly. It's it's six of one, half dozen of another. Uh, some people might say, well, I like the shoulder buttons on here better. The Anbernic one rattles a little bit more. These shoulder buttons are loose. They float a little bit. This one doesn't. I think it's a wash on controls. But I, I, I do like the size of this, and, and it's not necessarily with controls, but the size of this lends, to me, a little bit better ergonomics. Build quality, uh, I've seen horror stories from both of them. I've seen, you know, these screens coming off, or the old Miu Mini, you, you drop it on onto carpet and the screen would shatter. I've been really careful with this. I think maybe they've kind of improved on your manufacturing, so it doesn't happen as often. But, uh, and the one thing I, I did notice with this is there's really bad light bleed. And it's all from this, it's not, it's not from around the screen, it's from this LED up here that is just shooting neon green lightsaber lights at me. Uh, Gary, put that picture on the screen. I mean, there's lights coming out of here to beat the band, and if you're trying to play it at night with your significant other, he or she might be uh, quite annoyed. Obviously, the Miu Mini Plus has Wi-Fi. That's <clears throat> pretty good if you want to do retro achievements, if you want to do over-the-air updates, that sort of stuff. You also have to consider that the 35XX beat this sucker to the punch by a couple months, and these were out, these were uh, being used, you were having a good time with this before this was even able to be shipped and then there was that whole artificial scarcity thing they had going on with this for a little bit they're a lot easier to get now but uh it just doesn't sit right with me you know what i mean gary i get in trouble sometimes because i'll say well you know this guy is like 83 dollars on amazon and this guy is only 74 dollars on amazon and someone will leave a comment they'll say hey zoo i'm in the people's republic of north eastern south Chipshamistan, and it cost me $700 to have that shipped here, and the other one I can get for $400, so I don't know where you're getting your facts, because they're inaccurate. And so, I always like to buttress these statements and kind of hedge my bets a little bit by saying, when I looked it up for uh, my purchase in America, these were the price differences. So, Gary, put it on the screen. Over here, the Miu Mini Plus, I saw it going for around $70, $72 on AliExpress with free shipping. Now it's going to take God knows how long to get to your house, but that's the price. This guy was going for around 60, 62 bucks on AliExpress with the free shipping. Again, who knows when you're going to get it. Now Amazon, both these suckers are available on Amazon Prime right now. I could order this and have it tomorrow for 82 American dollars. And this guy, I could have for about 75 American dollars. So, yeah. There's about a $10 difference. And all things considered, I would probably say the Wi-Fi is worth $10 more. But since this guy came out, you know, so early compared to this, that's only a couple months. But in our world of retro handhelds, a couple months is, you know, like, like, like years. So this thing's been out for a long time. It's got robust, well-developed custom firmware. It's got a cult following. And then this guy shows up, and yeah, Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi is only $10 more in a vacuum. I'd say this is the clear purchase. But, 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 you got this guy. Uh, 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 uh. So I, mm, 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 mm. We'll, we'll get there. Stock on both of these, like I said earlier in the video, is garbage. Uh, it gets you where you need to go, but it's not stylish. It's like going to prom on a go-kart, you know what I mean? Onion OS, robust. Easy to use, easy to update. Garlic OS, robust, easy to use, easy to update. But I think where Garlic OS and the 35XX gets a slight nod is that Garlic OS was an operating system that was developed in front of our very eyes. And if you're on our Discord, Gary, put the link on the top of the screen. If you're in our Discord, you get to see Black Seraph interacting with the community and saying, what are you guys having? Oh, geez, I didn't anticipate that. I'm, that's not what I'm getting on my unit. What about you? And then you realize, oh, there's a couple different screen variants. Or there's, you know, a couple units that want to work overclocked and a couple units that don't. And it kind of helps develop and turn and form like a ball of clay, this operating system, before your very eyes on our Discord, which is kind of neat. I like that. <sighs> I mean, this is normally the time where we'd say, what did we learn? But I think we're going to have to say... Uh, which one is better? Ooh, ooh. They're both great. Performance, about the same. Controls, about the same. Build quality, uh, 35XX edges it out. Features, this guy has Wi-Fi for only $10 more. Uh, some people are addicted to the retro achievements. 
uh, or the ability to update over the air, which is nice, especially if you know you don't want to run around with a SD card adapter in your laptop everywhere. Think you're on vacation and a, and a critical new release comes out and you have to wait a week and a half before you can play all your games at, at much higher resolution. No, you don't have to do that because you got Wi-Fi. 35XX beats it in price, but for that $10 you are getting no Wi-Fi, so ooh, ooh, uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, uh, uh. They're both great. You honestly, you can't, you can't go wrong. They're very, very similar. I would. Mm. You ever watch like Hell's Kitchen and Gordon Ramsay says, no, oh, this is the toughest decision I've ever had to make in 12 years of this show. And you're like, yeah, you're full of crap. This is honestly the toughest decision I've had to make in the 30 plus episodes of Zoo Reviews. I mean, I'm going to go with the 35XX just because I've had it longer. And because I have kind of an emotional attachment to the operating system and watching it develop. Otherwise, they're the same, honestly. There's nothing this one does, this one can't, or vice versa, outside of Wi-Fi. Maybe I've gotten used to just not having Wi-Fi in here. I, I, I play games on here and not worry about, oh, I gotta make sure I got my hotspot out so I can get my achievements or whatever. That's kind of liberating. But again, it, <laughs> Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi. And I will always lean towards Wi-Fi, if not outright go for it. But, oh boy, I don't know. I don't know, Gary, what do you like? Yeah, I'm giving you the chance to say something. What do you like? Clammed up. Clammed up. He gets stage fright. That's why he's never been in my videos outside of some background hand stuff. <laughs> uh, but, I guess, I'm conflicted. I really am. I'm conflicted. These are both great products. If you don't already have one of these, I'd say get the Miu Mini Plus. And you can use our affiliate link in the description. Helps us out a little bit to buy one. Or get on Amazon. I don't care. Stubbs, Stubbs cares. He, he needs to pay for all these uh, e-waste products he's sending me. But I, I don't care one way or the other. I'm doing this for you, the viewers. So if you don't have either of these, uh, whew, get the MiU Mini Plus. Just for the Wi-Fi. It's, it's about the same. However, if you've been in this hobby for a long time, there's a pretty good chance you've picked one of these up. Because this was the must-have item from the end of December until... When, when did the data frog <laughs> come out? I mean, this thing, it, why, why, why would you buy it? And then Garlic OS comes out, and why wouldn't you buy it? A lot of people who are watching this channel probably already have one. And if you already have one, then don't, don't buy this. You, you don't need the Wi-Fi that much, especially if this is going to be your lower end screwing around console. I mean, even, even the colorways are a little bit similar. Uh, you can get this in a, a, a smoker-stained Game Boy color. You can get this in transparent to screens. You know, virtually the same. They're both beautiful. They both both 3.5 inch screens, beautiful screens, and um, hmm. yeah, yeah. So I guess my recommendations: if you don't have either, buy this. If you already have a 35XX, don't don't worry about buying the Mini Mini Plus. And I and this this is as conflicted as I've ever been, Gary. I feel like those two ladies that come up to King Solomon and they said, I, I don't know how to split my babby, and he said, use a knife, <laughs> and then you know. The, the one was horrified, and the other one said, "Yeah, I'll use a knife. I'm nuts." And King Solomon said, "Hey, I don't, I don't like you because you're nuts." That's been your uh, Zoo and Gary's Bible history of the day. And also, be sure to tune in and and get more weird analogies from a middle-aged man uh, who who hangs out in his basement with his his vagrant friend. Isn't that right, Gary? All right. Well, take care of your handhelds. Take care of yourself. Did you Did you like the video? If you did. Press the boy, press the buttons, press the bell. You, you know how to do it. It's 2023. You know how YouTube works, you idiot. All right, see you later.